Income inequality is one of the biggest challenges facing the world today. It has the potential to destabilize societies and damage future economic progress. We often think redistribution and education are the only ways to address this. But there are many ways to promote social inclusion and encourage growth at the same time. The Inclusive Growth and Development Report takes into account seven key policy areas that can make a difference. Employment and opportunity, providing fair wages and good conditions for everyone. Education, giving people the tools they need to succeed. Financial services, getting savings and other assets working productively. Infrastructure and health services for a healthy, connected workforce. Tackling corruption, so that rewards go to those who deserve them most. Asset building and entrepreneurship to foster resilience and innovation. Taxes and transfers that are fair and progressive. It is not growth, but the right kind of growth that matters. New Zealand ranks highest in terms of corporate and political ethics and second for fiscal transfers. These provide a sound basis for businesses and people to prosper. Malaysia ranks first among its middle-income peers for its real economy investment, meaning more capital is directed towards research and development, infrastructure and business investment. In the low-income bracket, Kenya stands out for financial inclusion and the quality of its education system. Every country on the planet must do more to boost inclusiveness. Growth and inclusion can go hand in hand, and it's the responsibility of all leaders to make this happen. By working together on the right policy and investments, businesses and governments can play a key role in ensuring that inclusive growth becomes a reality.